So we have a question from a viewer in Brainerd who wants to talk about a frequent topic here, <clears throat> and that is um, dogs and uh, body grip trap regulations. And what is, uh, this viewer wants to know, when is the legislature going to address this issue because this viewer doesn't feel he can safely hunt because of the dangers to his dogs. Hmm. So let's start with you, Representative Baker. <clears throat> I'll be honest. I don't sit on that committee, and I don't know a lot about this. Um, I don't want to waste a lot of our time because I, I do hear from folks back in my district. I am certainly concerned. I'm a mm -hmm. dog and cat lover. I would not want to see one of those um, little critters hurt, but uh, we have to have some good regulations. But, again, I don't know enough about this issue to honestly uh, take up some time that maybe these folks might have more information on. Anybody, anybody want, can update us on this? I used to serve, I used to chair the committee, and I very much agree with the person that we need to to do this because again, those are indiscriminate. They mm -hmm. they'll kill dogs and cats, and and I think the thing I'm hearing this year, we've been visited this last week by um, groups that were very concerned about the humane society things, and one of the issues related to that is is prohibiting trapping on private property unless you get permission to do so. Because the nature of these traps, people are afraid to have their dogs out on, sometimes on their own property, because posting it, well, you can post it and they're not supposed to do it, but um, mm -hmm. I think we should have it where you have explicit permission to get to place traps on that. But the body gripping traps are particularly deadly for dogs. Any other thoughts on that? Well, I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, I, I if you have someone that has approached a property owner and has asked for permission to go on their on their property, um, the idea that it has to be in writing, I I don't think that uh, that that's probably uh, totally realistic. At the end of the day, uh, you get the permission from the owner if uh, if the game warden happens to have some ask someone if they have permission, uh, and they say yes, and if they don't want to, they aren't sure they want to believe it. Obviously, they can always go check with the with the with the landowner at that point in time, and uh, and so I think that. Uh, uh, I don't expect, let me put it that way, that, that I don't, that there'll be, uh, any of those, uh, bills probably coming through this year. The, the bills that I've seen had, do not require written permission. You just got to get the approval, which to me is the big thing. If, if you own a piece of property, yeah, for hunting and so on, you have to post it if you want no hunting, but for trapping, it just strikes me as that you shouldn't, you should just have to get permission if you're going to put something that can be deadly to people's pets and everything else on somebody's land with nobody near it, just sitting there hiding, in effect. I, I agree with you, John, and I am a little surprised that this is one of those issues that lingers. Yeah. Yeah. I've sat on the Environment and Natural Resources Committees now for uh, six years, and uh, we haven't heard any bills this year on it, and yet I know people are concerned about it. I can consistently hear comments like your, right. your viewer, and um, I, sometimes I wonder why, how that keeps lingering, because mm -hmm. It does seem to me that if, if you're going to set a trap on my land, I want, I want to be able to give you permission for that. I might allow it, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's only appropriate that I, I have that right to give the permission. Well, uh, no action, at least at this point, moving on that bill, but stay tuned. There's still a month to go, right? Right, right. right. <laughs>